Growing up in a single-parent household hasn't always been easy for Aaron and Eva Pierce. There were times when things were tough, including the loss of their older brother. Sharon Pierce didn't let herself or her three daughters off the hook. They persevered, and spending weekends at the golf course may have turned out to be part of the healing process, maybe even more for Sharon as a mother than her twin daughters. I knew that it would build character in Aaron and Eva, and I wanted to see that they can, well, let them find out what they can do. They, they, it was a challenge. It's a different environment. They had to adjust. My stature when I was coming into ninth grade was very small. Um, I hadn't had my growth spurt yet, and so bags were at first very intimidating to carry, but then after a while I was like, I had a lot of determination to be like very, very good at my job, so I really put forth a lot of effort and I just carried on. I was just coming for a summer job, like I guess just to have some like leadership skills and I guess like have a, like a something to say for a resume when I actually turn 16 so I can get a job and <laughs> and I've just been like sticking it out here ever since. Four years later, the twins who also played varsity golf are two of the most respected caddies at the club. And both are heading to Miami University on a full ride through Makatiwa's program and the Chick Evans Scholarship for Caddies. They're reliable and dependable, so they show up all the time. They're here, they show up and they're prompt and uh, they hustle. I mean, they show you know a lot of energy. They keep up with the golfer, they're ahead of you, they find the ball for you, um, you know, and they help move the pace of play along. And they have great attitudes. And while they could easily offer tips on how the course plays, it's often their unwavering support that sets them apart. When one of our members got a hole in one on hole nine, and I just kind of thought, you know, that's what's supposed to happen. So he comes up to the hole, and then I said, your ball's in the, the hole. He's like, it's in the hole? He starts freaking out, and I'm just like, I didn't have any emotion. I was just like, that's what's supposed to happen. That's how you're supposed to do it. It's easy. It's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they choose to focus on the light, even with the pre-dawn call times. We have a little caddy shack and you can see the sunrise coming up and that's really nice to see in the morning, so I like that. Allie Cohen, Local 12 Sports.